In this video, I will be attempting to break five different F1 records, beginning with some fairly easy records against the low level AI and working our way up to some very challenging records against the maximum level AI. And we will be starting with the record for the largest winning margin, which is currently two laps and jointly held by Jackie Stewart from the 1969 Spanish Grand Prix and Damon Hill from the 1995 Australian Grand Prix. So we've got 70 laps against the 0% AI in the Hungarian Grand Prix to try and break that record. So let's do it. All right, here we go. We are starting from pole position on these soft tires. Uh, so let's just get a good start. Here we go then, ladies and gentlemen. There we go, that should do. And yeah, there we go. Bye Alonso, bye, goodbye bye. Hamilton. Okay, we are halfway through and it's looking pretty good to be honest. The only real test in the second half of this race is actually dealing with my short attention span. But to be honest, I think I've got a solution for that. Well, there we go. We've absolutely smashed the record. Look at that. Unfortunately, I actually don't qualify for a real Guinness World Record as apparently doing it in the game and against 0% AI just isn't good enough to take the record away from the real F1 drivers. It's not fair. Eh? But you know what? That is the first record done in my books. So let's move on. Next up, we have the record for the most retirements in one race, which is currently at 85.7%, which was at the infamous 1996 Monaco Grand Prix, where just three cars finished the race. So we're also gonna head to Monaco and see if we can cause some carnage against the AI, which is now at 25% difficulty right here we go let's do this so we're starting from p8 and according to my calculations there has to be at least 18 dnfs to break the record we're gonna we're gonna park it here oh there's gotta be some dnf from this no no okay hey wake your ass up let's go it's race time i mean there's a lot of debris but there's no one's dnf yet this is this is going terribly what oh, the oh, there we go. Okay, there we go. That's a bit better. Oh my god. Let's park it here. Oh god. Oh, Alonso. Oh, what a move. Oh, Verstappen's out. And Esteban Ocon. And Lance. Oh, I just drove into the wall there. I do not often speak publicly. However, I'm extremely angry. And look at that. Ten drivers are now out. We are halfway there. <laughs> Hold that. Yes, have that. Damn it. Oh! Oh, Magnuson. Yes, have that. Suck my balls, mate. No. Okay, the car is not in a good state right now. But uh, we are 75% of the way there. Oh, Albon, that, that front tire is looking nice. Oh, oh my god, I backed out. Oh my god, he almost spun. I'm going to reverse into you. Take you out. Pow. Look at that. You big stinker. Where is he? There he is. There he is. Hello there, George Russell. What the fuck was he doing? All right, this is it. There's only three cars left. This is for the record. If, if one more driver DNFs, then we've done it. So we just need to kind of... Oh, look at that. We've done it. W's in the shot. W's in the shot. And that's one of the greatest things I've ever seen in Grand Prix racing. And you know what? I want to do more than just beat the record. I want to smash the record. Why not make it 100%? Well, there we go. We have got 100%. We have absolutely smashed the record. On to the next one. We now have the record for the most penalties in one race, which is sure enough held by Esteban Ocon, who got five penalties during the 2023 Austrian Grand Prix. So basically, I've got to try and get at least six penalties in one race, which should be easy in theory. However, my fear is that I'm going to get disqualified before I can even get to five penalties. But let's see what happens. Okay, here we go. I know what you can do. Don't let me down. I will not let you down, Mark. Let's do this. Right, what if we just kind of slice off that whole section and just go here? Okay, three seconds. Look at that. I like that. One hour later. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. Okay, I, I apologize. I didn't realize how easy this would be. But uh, yeah, anyway, on to the next one. And staying on the theme of penalties, we will now try and break the record for the shortest time elapsed 
before earning a penalty, which is currently held by Sebastian Vettel, who got a penalty for speeding in the pit lane just six seconds after leaving the garage during practice for the 2006 Turkish Grand Prix. And given that in this game, you can't speed in the pit lane after leaving the garage, and also jump starts clearly don't count towards this record, I think this is actually gonna be very difficult to break. However, I have got an idea. Okay, so we are at Baku for a practice session and I've selected the my team car whatever So I'm basically I'm in the very end garage of the pit lane um, So my idea is so if you cross the white line on exit, you don't actually get a penalty You only get a warning But I think if I quickly exit the pit lane and immediately crash into someone that's right there I think I will get a penalty and that should be less than six seconds although it could be very tight and I guess we can speed it up and I need to perfectly time it so that when I exit the pit lane there is somebody right there who I can straight away crash into right will I even have enough time right we are we are out one two three no one's there but I think it can work I think there's enough time so we're gonna restart the session which I think we're gonna have to do a lot. Right, now, 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 let's get him, let's get him. No, I accidentally clicked flying lap, I'm so stupid. Right, drive out. Wait, why did I drive out? No one's even on the track. We are out of the garage. Here we go, here we go. There needs to be someone right there on the exit. Okay, this is gonna be, this is gonna be a long one. Come on, come on. Oh my God, oh my God. I no, I choked it. Okay, actually, I've got an idea. What should make this slightly easier, actually, is if I skip to qualifying and then I leave the garage like right at the end of Q1, because then pretty much everyone will be on track then. Right, here we go, here we go, here we go. We are out of the garage. Oh, my teammate. Hello. Gliding through. Yes. No. What? Wait, why was I ghosted? No! Come on, come on. We can do this. No! No, I missed. Ah! There's someone right here. Come on. No! Why do I ghost? Stop trying, man. Get back on the track. <laughs> oh, hello, that Alpha Tauri. Come on. Oh, I missed him. Oh, that actually could have been it. It just needs to be less than six seconds between me exiting the garage and the contact happening as long as it results in a penalty. Because I don't think back in the 2006 or 2005 when it was Turkish Grand Prix, I don't think the FIA actually managed to hand out a penalty within six seconds of Vettel leaving the garage. <sighs> right, we're out, we're out, we're out. Oh, hello, hello, hello. Go on, that might have been it. That might have been it. Are we gonna get a penalty for contact with Hamilton? Oh, yeah. We are, I think we've done it. Oh my God, I'm gonna have to VAR this, but that's definitely less than six seconds. <laughs> Oh my god, thank god. Right, let's go straight on to the next one. Now before record number five, I wanna try and break a quick bonus record. And the reason it's a bonus is because it is absolutely not challenging at all and requires no skill whatsoever. So this is the record for the shortest distance driven in an F1 career. And it is currently held by Ernst Luff, who started the 1953 German Grand Prix, drove forward two meters, and then had a fuel pump issue and never took part in another F1 race again. So we're gonna start a new career mode to try and beat this record of a two meter F1 career. So let's do it. We've got the car reveal. That's beautiful. Look at the curves on that. Right, race weekend. This is our first race in our career mode. I'm making my debut in F1. Oh my God, I'm so excited. I'm looking forward to having a long, successful career mode. Okay, right. I can't like, this actually gonna be a challenge to go less than two meters, given that if you haven't noticed, F1 cars are quite fast. Like they do cover ground quickly. Let's, let's move our camera. We need to go forward less than two meters. There we go. Look at that. I think that's done. That was definitely less than two meters. I'd say that's about 10 centimeters. And you know what? We're going to retire from session. There we go. That's our career. Oh, uh, I'm not counting that. That doesn't count. That is not me driving right now. That's the AI driving, right? That's our first race of the career done. Uh, that was, you know, that was brilliant. The, the guys did a fantastic job. The car was on fire from start to finish of that race. You have to say. You know what, guys? It's come to that stage in my career where I've actually been starting to think about retirement recently. Yeah, you know, as an athlete, you just, when you get to that stage and, you know, 
You've got the Saudi Arabian Grand Prix next, but you know, you're just thinking like, what about my kids? You know, I need to spend more time with my family, my children, you know, I need to be a good dad for them. So actually, now that I've made that decision, I'm gonna retire from this Grand Prix. I see him as such a legend of our sport. And when we talk about legends, like, there's not many that are, that are, that I, I count as legends. I'm very honest, but he's, he's at the top of that. But there is a silver lining. I now have the record for the shortest distance in an F1 career at 10 centimeters. Oh my god. All right, anyway, let's move on to the final record. And last but not least is the record for the fastest speed reached in a Formula 1 Grand Prix and that is 372.6 kilometers an hour which was achieved by Juan Pablo Montoya during the 2005 Italian Grand Prix. So we're gonna select the RB19 and head to Baku. So bang, that should be pretty much the fastest top speed setup possible. And we are in a Red Bull and I'm gonna go for it on lap three. Okay, 373 is what we're aiming for. Here we go, ERS on. We're in the slipstream and we will get DRS soon. Oh my God, okay, please. Here we go, 360. Come on, keep going. No, no. Oh, it just, I felt it. I felt it in the car. It just like, it hit a brick wall and it just stopped going up. All right, it is once again time to start a new career mode. We're gonna do a my team career mode. All right, ERS on. We are in the slipstream. Give me that DRS. Okay, right, what are we on? Okay, 340. 350, there we go. Got the DRS. All right, keep going. Keep going. Don't get stuck. Oh my God, it's done it again. It's a disgrace. Okay, right, so I have finally maxed out the powertrain upgrades on my car. And we're in the Mexican Grand Prix. And look at that, we're on lap three. We're gonna go back a bit so I can get some DRS. If I can't do it now, then it's never possible. Here we go, it's now or never. We're gonna get the DRS. We'll get a massive slipstream and this car is absolutely rapid in a straight line. Here we go, ERS on. Come on, let's do this. Up to gear eight already. There's the DRS. We should get a slipstream as well. Come on, 350, 360. Keep going. No! 